Happy Saturday. Today we are gonna do a fun little weekend vlog and I have so many books to show you guys that hopefully will give you some inspo for some summer reading. So those are the two things on my agenda for this vlog. I did film a little bit last weekend so I wanna do a little re rewind into last weekend because those clips I think are gonna be fun. I haven't looked at them yet, but I went to the Rex Orange County concert last Friday and that was really fun. I went back to Philly for it. Made it. And now Alicia's picking me up. Nothing like your smile in the morning. Then I did a little picnic in the park because it's finally really warm in New York now. So today it is Saturday. I have my little workout set on from Set Active. And I am first gonna go get a bagel. Then I'm going to this Harry Styles themed yoga class because i am newly obsessed with hot yoga and they're doing a harry styles themed <laughs> like are you kidding me it's gonna be a fun weekend and i'm gonna bring you guys along so you guys can enjoy it with me yay okay stay tuned subscribe if you're new and i'll see you later i just hope there's someone else can make me stop Okay, so before I go to my yoga class, I am gonna sit here with the rest of my coffee and we are gonna do a long awaited book haul. I have so many books I wanna talk to you guys about. I have gotten, honestly, a good variety of books I feel like the last month or so that I have just been so excited to share. So let's get into it. Some of these books I feel like are gonna be great for summer. So if you wanna add any of these to like your summer reading list, highly recommend. So first one that I read probably like a month ago, some of these I've read and some of them I still have yet to read. So figured I'd just show you all of them while I have you here. Anyway, so first one is Just Kids by Patti Smith. This one I've seen all over my TikTok for probably over a year now. It's a memoir by Patti Smith and she talks about her relationship with her friend, lover, Robert. It's honestly a really beautiful story and it takes place in New York City in the 1960s, I wanna say. Definitely like 60s, 70s, maybe the 70s. Could be the 70s, honestly, I kind of forget. But if you're in the mood for a memoir and you're into music or just like the art scene, then I would definitely recommend because she talks about like legendary people in that world in this book. And also it's just a beautiful story about love, friendship. Next up, we have a very summery book. It's One Italian Summer. This is actually by the same author of In Five Years, which I, if you've been watching my channel, you know I love that book. Essentially a story of a woman in her, I wanna say early 30s, her mom passes away 
and they had this trip planned to go to Positano and they had been planning this trip like they've been wanting to plan this trip for years because the mom went to Positano when she was in her early 30s before she had her daughter and it was just a life-changing trip and so they wanted to go and then her mom got sick and she decided to go on the trip by herself then she ends up meeting the younger version of her mom on that trip so it is just honestly this book made me cry like it's i'm gonna say it's a summer read but it's also an emotional read just because it really taps into the whole mother-daughter relationship she's such a good writer i feel like i read this in like two days but the setting i would say almost outshines the plot i don't want to say that but i do want to say that because it's kind of true because the way that she describes just the food that they eat the settings what she's wearing, you feel like you have been transported to the south of Italy, like it is glorious. So yeah, I actually really highly recommend this book. I think I give it like a four out of five stars. Last one of the books that I have read is After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I love Taylor Jenkins Reid. I just feel like she knows how to make a good freaking book and I mean, her writing style, she knows how to write good characters. I can see why this one is not as hyped up as her other books, but it takes you along the journey of this married couple and they decide to take a year long break in their marriage and come back a year later and see if they can fix all the just rockiness in their marriage. And honestly, I wrote this in my Goodreads review of this book, but I feel like most of the books that I have read about romance are like the beginning of a relationship and like that just like the excitement of falling in love for the first time and this one I feel like takes you on a different route of relationships and kind of deep dives into what it's like being in a long-term relationship and just trying to keep that magic alive, you know? And also just like what comes with being in a marriage, which I would know nothing about, but I can imagine through this book that it would be kind of hard. <laughs> so yeah, honestly, it was a refreshing read, just reading something, reading a different kind of romance book. So yeah, this one would definitely be a very fun beach read if you're interested. So really like that one. Okay, next up for the books that I have not read yet. Well, I am like, how far am I into this book? I'm 140 pages into this book, and it is the very famous on BookTok book called Book Lovers by Emily Henry. She's the same author who wrote Beach Read, which I'm obsessed with Beach Read. She also wrote People We Meet on Vacation, and honestly, this is a controversial opinion, but I did not like People We Meet on Vacation. I just, it didn't, didn't grab me, didn't really do much for me. I read it, I finished it, and I don't know, it just like really wasn't my favorite. I didn't really get sucked into the characters or really, I wasn't really rooting for them, you know? You know when you're just like reading a romance book and you're like, these people are made for each other, like, uh. I didn't feel that with people we meet on vacation. So I will give you my honest opinion about this book once I finish, but honestly, I mean, I'm excited. The beginning is a little slow for me, but I can feel it picking up. So yeah, I'm reading this one right now. Next up we have, I saw this one on Book Talk as well and it's called Tales from the Cafe. It's by the same author as Before the Coffee Gets Cold. That one is the first one. This is the second one that came out, but I really wanted the first one, but I went to the Barnes and Noble and they didn't have it. So I was like, all right, I'll read the second one. This one is just a collection of short stories about this cafe, you go in the cafe and then you sit down in this very particular seat and it brings you back to a an event that happened in your past and you can, I guess, talk to people. I haven't read this book yet so I don't really know that much about it, but I don't know, I think it could be really interesting and I've heard good things, so pick that one up. Oh, last but not least, we have All About Love by Bell Hooks. I am kind of almost done. I've been like reading this one in between book lovers just because this one is a non-fiction. So this one's kind of just like easy to read like throughout the day in the mornings and stuff. But essentially it's just a book all about love. And she kind of does like a deep dive into the different types of love, how we love people. And I mean, I'm 
a huge fan of love. So I picked this one up and she is incredible. So I just know I'm gonna recommend this book anyway. So those are all the books that I've picked up lately and some good summer reading books in this pile, I feel like. Uh, let me know if you want me to do a little book recommendations for the summer because I have I have this, I've got some goodies. I've got some goodies up my sleeve this year that I feel like are perfect for the summertime. So yeah, keep your eyes out for that. And now I'm gonna go to my Harry Styles themed yoga class. So. And I'm see you later. Sorry for not speaking.